everybody out there in YouTube land. Jake of the One Man Band is back again, and welcome to another edition of Hunger Games Simulation. One of my favorite things to do. It's been a long time since I've done one, and there are reasons for that, but I'll get to that at the end of this episode. Right now, we have ourselves 24 new competitors, and who are they all? They are all movie monsters. Alrighty. From District 1, we have Dracula and the Wolfman. From District 2, we have Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees. From District 3, we have the Alien and the Predator, some of my favorites. From District 4, we have the Pale Man from Pan's Labyrinth and Pinhead from Hellraisers. From District 5, we have the Babadook and Frankenstein's Monster. From District 6, we have Jeepers Creepers and Mike Myers. From District 7, we have The Thing and Brundlefly. From District 8, we have The Blob and The Kraken. From District 9, we have Graboids, a.k.a. Tremors, that's what movie they're from, and The Basilisk. From District 10, we have The Balrog and The Freakin' T-Rex from Jurassic Park. From District 11, we have The Shark, or Bruce, if you will, from Jaws, and The Creature of the Black Lagoon. And then from District 12, we have Audrey, the talking plant, carnivorous plant from Little Shop of Horrors, and the killer rabbit from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Alrighty, so place your bets now. Who you think is going to win? This was such a hard one to choose, but I'm going to be rooting for the Predator, the Thing, and the Killer Rabbit. That's what I came down to, although I would like to root for, like, six. Six people, but those are the three I'm going to be sticking with, so let us proceed to the bloodbath and we all know that these creatures all love their blood baths this is gonna be fun the, as the tributes stand on their podiums the horn sounds alrighty creature of the black lagoon runs away from the cornucopia very smart probably he's gonna try to find this uh, lake or something to swim around in the killer rabbit throws a knife into <laughs> Freddy Krueger's head <laughs> Dang, man, Freddy Krueger, take it out, just like that, by the killer rabbit. Yes, I knew I cho chose well. The Balrog runs away from the cornucopia. Strange, I would think that he would try to kill everyone. The Frankenstein's monster snatches up a pair of size. He was just like, oh. They probably just fell on his arms, and he was just like, oh, okay, whatever. Okay, Pinhead runs away from the cornucopia. Mike Myers finds a bow, some arrows, and a quiver. But I don't think he'll be very much good with them. His his choice weapon is a kitchen knife. Wolfman runs away from the uh, runs into the cornucopia and hides. Jason Voorhees takes a handful of throwing knives. Very dangerous. Jeepers Creepers snatches up a pair of scythes. Wow, him and him and uh, Frankenstein's monster are probably gonna go at it at some point. Uh, Brundlefly and the Babadook both run away from the cornucopia. The Thing finds a bow, some arrows, and a quiver. It's probably like, what am I going to do with these? It'll find something to do. T-Rex and the Predator fight over the bag, but T-Rex gives up and retreats. Good, good T-Rex. Don't fight the Predator. He'll take you out. The Pale Man grabs his shield, leaning on the cornucopia. The Blob runs away from the cornucopia, as does the Graboid. The alien finds a canteen full of water. The shark finds a bag full of explosives. Dracula runs away. Audrey runs away. The kraken runs away. And the basilisk grabs a shovel. It's going to be hard to use the shovel. It's got no hands or arms. But, you know, whatever. Alrighty. Day one. The basilisk discovers a river. Well, it can slither around in the river then. The predator sprains his ankle while running away from the Brundle, from Brundlefly. Hey, I don't know about you, but I think anyone would run away from that. Especially if you've seen the movie. Uh, the pale man diverts the shark's attention and runs away. And for all you people who are wondering, yes, the shark is moving on land. It, it can do that in this Hunger Games. We found a way. We had science. Uh, the blob goes hunting. The graboid constructs a shack. 
Uh, the Babadook injures himself. Wolfman tries to sleep through the entire day because he knows his true power comes out at night. He's a smart one. Dracula attempts to climb a tree and falls to his death. <laughs> that is such a tragic end for Dracula. Because it's like, he he doesn't need to climb a tree. He can just walk up it. That's, that's like in the book. But, you know, whatever. Poor Dracula. Alien travels to higher ground. Balrog receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. The killer rabbit is hunting for the other tributes. <laughs> Creature of the Black Lagoon searches for firewood. T-Rex and Mike Myers split up uh, to search for resources. Frankenstein's monster tries to sleep through the day. The thing makes a wooden spear, so it has a wooden spear and a bow with a quiver full of arrows. Man, he is set. Jeepers Creepers sprains his ankle while running away from Pinhead. Kraken is prick prickled by thorns while picking berries, and Audrey severely, uh, severely slices Jason Voorhees with a sword. Does that mean he's dead? Uh, Audrey is probably just like, I'M STARVING! <laughs> just cut him up. Just because he wanted to eat. Oh, yep, so Jason Voorhees is dead. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Freddy Krueger, Dracula, and Jason Voorhees are all dead. Two... Of the most frightening of the 80s horror slasher movie antagonists are dead in the first day. That is crazy. Let's keep going. Night one. The Kraken cooks her food before putting out her fire. Hopefully she wasn't cooking herself. Calamari. I'd eat it. I love calamari. I want some calamari now! But we gotta finish this game. Jeepers Creepers, Wolfman, Audrey, and the Predator tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. The Blob cooks his food before putting out his fire. Frankenstein's monster goes to sleep. Creature of the Black Lagoon questions his sanity. He's like, why aren't I in water? Why? <laughs> the T-Rex tends to her wounds. Brundlefly cries himself to sleep. Pinhead receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. I'm not sure if he actually needs it. Uh, the Pale Man cooks his food before putting out his fire. Mike Myers uh, climbs a tree. Uh, now I think about it, it should have been Michael Myers. Uh, but, you know, say lovey. We, we must work through these things. The Basilisk destroys the shark supplies while he is asleep. The Thing forces gra the Graboid to kill Babadook or the Killer Rabbit. He decides to kill the Babadook. Okay, good. You didn't kill the Killer Rabbit. Awesome. Good job. Okay, the Balrog is unable to start a fire. The irony. The irony is there. The irony is there. <laughs> it's funny. The alien is awoken by nightmares. Once again, the irony is there. Because <laughs> the alien is a thing of nightmares. Gave me nightmares for a long time. Uh, okay, day two. Brundlefly and Wolfman sp split up to search for resources. The Pale Man receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. He's been getting a lot of water. Predator uh, sees some smoke rising in the distance, besides not to investigate. He's all like, the hunt. Shall not happen today. I have to find resources first. The Blob, Michael Myers, the Balrog, and Frankenstein's monster raid the Killer Rabbit's camp while he is hunting. Just soon. Soon they will feel the wrath of the Killer Rabbit. Jeepers Creepers constructs a shack. Pinhead sprains his ankle while running away from Creature of the Black Lagoon. Huh, funny he'd be scared by that. I'd be far more scared than... I'd be more scared of Pinhead. The shark, Audrey, the basilisk, alien, and T-Rex track down and kill Graboid! The Graboid! Well, it must have taken a long time since they're underground most of the time. But dang, man, I was hoping Graboids would be there in, in there for a long time. The thing steals from the Kraken while she isn't looking. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance for the Babadook, and Graboid has fallen in battle. I especially like you, Graboid. Babadook, I haven't really seen your movie. I don't even know how it is. So, you know, whatever. I, I don't really had... Ha I didn't have an opinion on him. The Kraken receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. This is night two, by the way. Frankenstein's monster and Audrey run into each other by the side of truce for the night. They probably start, like, singing together. <laughs> that'd, that'd be awesome. Frankenstein's monster's just like... Ah, 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 ah. The Predator receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. The Blob is unable to convince the Balrog to not kill him, so the Balrog killed the Blob. 
<laughs> Balrog probably just burned the crap out of it. <laughs> just all like, I'm a demon of Morgoth. Burn! The T-Rex thinks about winning because the T-Rex will always win in the end. Jeepers Creepers questions his sanity. The thing sets an explosive off, killing Brundlefly, creature of the Black Lagoon, the Killer Rabbit, and the Basilisk. No! Killer Rabbit! No! Dang! I was hoping the Killer Rabbit would win, but at least the Thing is the one that killed all of them, so the Thing is still in there. The thing is smart. It can... You don't know who it is. But dang, four. It's crazy. Pinhead passes out from exhaustion. Hopefully he didn't fall too hard, or else all those pins would have gone into his head. Wolfman receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. The Pale Man and the alien run into each other and decide to truce for the night. Michael Myers destroys the shark supplies while he is sleeping. And now day three comes along. Alien makes a slingshot. You're already the perfect killing machine. Why do you need a weapon? I don't know. Maybe it just wants to work with its hands. A wolfman steals from Michael Myers while he isn't looking. The Balrog diverts uh, the predator's attention and runs away. The Pale Man and Audrey hunt for their tributes. Frankenstein's monster explores the area. The Thing questions his sanity. He's probably like, why did I, why did I blow up the Killer Rabbit? I mean, the other ones were okay, but the Killer Rabbit, he was so cute! How could I do that? <laughs> That's probably what he's thinking. Pinhead and the shark split up to search for resources. Jeepers Creepers begs for the T-Rex to kill him. She refuses, cheaping, keeping Jeepers Creepers alive. And the Kraken tries to spear fish with a trident. More irony. It can just catch the fish with its tentacles. Five cannon shots can be heard in the distance. The Blob, Brundlefly, Creature of the Black Lagoon, the Killer Rabbit, and the Basilisk have all fallen in battle. I like every single one of you. You're all awesome in your own right, especially the Killer Rabbit. Best monster ever. Never saw it coming. <laughs> if you ever see it, run away. <laughs> Alrighty. The Predator starts a fire on night three. Michael Myers, the Kraken, Wolfman, and Balrog and Pinhead sleep in shifts. The Thing and Audrey sleep in shifts. The Alien, the Shark, and Frankenstein's monster sleep in shifts. What's with all this sleeping? They're supposed to be killing each other. Well, ah, uh, entertainment. Jeepers Creepers, the T-Rex, and the Pale Man cheerfully sing songs together. Well, at least they're not sleeping, like some other friggin' lazy bums. Day four. The T-Rex sprains her ankle while running away from the Kraken. Pretty much the Kraken is really the only thing that's probably bigger than the T-Rex. I mean, the Balrog maybe is the same size. I'm not sure. I need to see a comparison between the two. Michael Myers attacks the alien, but she manages to escape. Yeah, that's right. Michael Myers, he just was probably walking the whole time. The aliens just all like, I'm out. Just crawled into a vent, went somewhere else. Audrey hunts for other tributes. Jeepers Creepers goes hunting. The Balrog, the Thing, and the Pale Man get into a fight. The Pale Man triumphantly kills them both. How? How did you kill a literal demon and a, a space alien that can assimilate whatever it touches? The Pale Man, man, he's, he's got some tricks up his sleeve. Seriously, that means the only person left is uh, the Predator. It's the only person left. Okay, Predator, you have to win this for me. You have to win it for me. Wolfman kills the shark with a hatchet. Nice! Then you eat it, right? Uh, Predator receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Frankenstein's monster discovers a river. As long as it isn't fire, he should be fine. And Pinhead fishes. Probably with his face, he probably just dunks it into the water, and then his fish probably just like, I've been impaled by pins! Help! Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance from the Balrog, the Thing, and the Shark, aka Bruce, have all fallen in battle. I love you all. You're all from some of my favorite movies. Okay. Night four. The Wolfman thinks about home. The T-Rex sets up camp for the night. The Kraken defeats Jeepers Creepers in a fight, but spares his life. Come on, you're supposed to be killing each other. Frankenstein's monster looks at the night sky. Audrey overpowers Pinhead, killing her. Oh, I guess I forgot to put Pinhead as a male. Oh, well, they're dead. Anyway, so, Pale Man tends to his wounds. Mike Myers catches the alien off guard and kills her. 
and the predator dies of hunger. No! <laughs> predator, how could you die of hunger? No! I'm not winning this one. Dang. Okay, the feast happens. Well, now that all my tributes are dead, I, I'll choose a, a runner-up. And the runner-up has got to be the mother effing T-Rex from Jurassic Park. They ha She has to win. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tributes' families. Michael Myers decides not to go to the feast, as does Jeepers Creepers, the Pale Man, T-Rex, and the Wolf Man, and Frankenstein's monster. None of them. Go. The Kraken severely slices Audrey with a sword. So Audrey dies. The plant dies. Alrighty. Day five. The pale man is prickled by thorns while picking berries. When, with your eyes and your hands, you, you don't want to prickle your hands because you might poke your eye out. That, that would be terrible. The Kraken attacks Frankenstein's monster, but he manages to escape. This wolfman sprays his ankle while running away from T-Rex. That's right. Michael Myers camouflages himself in the bushes. He's just like, I will stab someone at some point. And Jeepers Creepers receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Pinhead, the alien, the predator, and Audrey have all fallen in battle. I like these three, but this one on top, nah, don't really care for him. And no, not in any way. Night five. The Kraken receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Thank God! She was almost completely dried up. Wolfman cooks his food before putting out his fire. Michael Myers and Frankenstein's monster run into each other and decide a truce for the night. Jeez, all these truces. T-Rex attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. It's the little arms. Couldn't, couldn't do it. Arms were too little. The Pale Man and Jeepers Creepers huddle for warmth. Ah, ah, the one true pair of this game. So cute. Day six. T-Rex accidentally steps on a landmine. Dang it. Dang, my runner-up is gone. Dang it. Michael Myers pushes Wolfman off a cliff during a knife fight. That's what you get for making a pact in the night, the previous night. That's, that's what they did, right? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Uh, as soon as I woke up, Mike Michael Myers was just like, well, he doesn't say anything. He probably just went and pushed him. <laughs> Dang, Jeepers Creepers collects fruit from a tree. The Kraken runs away from Frankenstein's monster, and the Pale Man dies of thirst. Weren't you the one that was getting a butt ton of water earlier? Must have gone through all, all that water in the past few days. Dang, man. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. The T-Rex, Wolfman, and the Pale Man have all fallen in battle. So the runner-up and kind of the two, uh, I don't want to say underdogs, but they were kind of, they kind of just came out of nowhere and were just like, oh yeah, we could be champions in this one. But they're all dead, man. Not that many left. Only four left. Night six. Michael, Mike, Michael Myers decides, <laughs> Michael, Mike, Mike Myers, Mike, Mike Myers, Michael. Uh, sees a fire, but stays hidden. The Kraken and Jeepers Creepers run into each other and decide a truce for the night. Lots of truces. Dang. And Frankenstein's monster cries himself to sleep. He, sh he was probably just like, why? Why was I created to be like this? I still have the two sighs. I can't get them off my arms because I can't move them. <laughs> Day seven. Jeepers Creepers discovers a river. The Kraken practices her archery. <laughs> That'd be cool. It's all like she could shoot like six like three or four at once depending on how many tentacles she has michael myers searches for firewood and frankenstein's monster constructs a shack he's like i'm gonna stay in it nobody dies today okay frankenstein's monster is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth well that's okay he he doesn't need a fire anyway he's scared of it the kraken receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor as does michael myers and Jeepers Creepers cooks his food before putting out his fire. It seems like they're all just staying away from each other. Maybe they don't want to fight each other. Alrighty, day eight. Michael Myers and the Kraken work together for a day, and Frankenstein's monster runs away from Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> well, you know, he probably shuffles away. I don't think Frankenstein's monster can really run. But nonetheless, man, two days without any fatalities! If this was Battle Royale, you guys would be dead because of the collars. 
I'm just saying. Uh, Frankenstein's monster tries to treat his infection. Jeepers Creepers receives a hatchet. Lots of, lots of hatchets being thrown out. And Michael Myers poisons the Kraken's drink. She drinks it and dies. Dang, Michael Myers. Not going for the stabbing, going for the poisoning. He's, he's going crazy, man. And the Kraken's dead now. Alrighty. Day nine. Mike Myers is prickled by thorns while picking berries. Jeepers Creepers accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. And he's blown apart and he's just all like, well, I ain't coming back from this. At least not for another 12 years or whatever it is. And Frankenstein's monster dies trying to escape the arena. Dang it, Frankenstein's monster. You almost came up and won this. And since these three all fell in battle in that small time span, this means that Michael Myers from District 6 is the champion of the movie Monster Hunger Games. Man, that was awesome. Let's see who got the most kills. I think that's... I'm going to make that a thing from now on. I'm going to check who had the most kills. It looks like the thing had the most kills. It had four. So, yeah, man. This, this was an awesome one. I like this. Uh, it was, once again, awesome to get back into doing these. And now I'm going to tell you why it's taken me a while. It's because... The original one I wanted to do first was uh, a Pokemon Hunger Games, but I wanted to make it special, so I had to, like, change the events that happen, and that's just taking a very, very long time. So, uh, if you guys, like, do this, do it for fun, and you have one ready and waiting, and you, like, want me to take a look at it, you can, like, send me the save code that it has, I'll put it in, and then I should be able to play it, I'm pretty sure. So, like, if you have one already done, it's like, oh, I have one that's a bunch of characters from something. You should play this, you know, then just send it over and, and I'll play it, because that'll give me time to slowly work on ones where I want to mo modify the events and stuff, so, um... Just keep that in mind, but hey, just I have no rush if you guys like don't have anything then that's okay So I hope you enjoyed this hunger game simulation Be sure to like and favorite if you did subscribe of course if you feel inclined to and I'll see you next time I'm out there in YouTube land be a good person tip your waitresses keep moving forward And I'll see you next time